The 2023 winter season in Switzerland kicked off with an unexpected twist. 20 degrees Celsius in January and a heat wave that brought temperatures reminiscent of summer, shattering records and causing alarm among ski resort operators. With the warmest year on record and unprecedented ice loss, Swiss resorts were forced to make tough decisions, some closing their ski lifts whilst others turned to alternative activities like summer biking trails. Imagine booking a skiing trip in January but instead end up riding a mountain bike down a mountain with no snow in sight. However, this is not just a temporary setback. It raises profound questions about the future of the ski industry in the face of climate change. The roots of skiing trace back to Europe in the late 19th century, but it wasn't until the 1960s and 1970s that it became a symbol of prestige and glamour for the elite. However, this rise in popularity coincided with the onset of climate change which has been particularly pronounced in the European Alps. While the global average temperature has risen by about 1 degree Celsius since the Industrial Revolution, the Alps have experienced almost double that increase, up to 2 degrees Celsius in some areas. While the Alps have experienced warmer weather historically, the same story goes for North America. Since 1980, Aspen ski area has lost 30 frozen days and temperature has risen by 1.8 degrees Celsius. Snowfall patterns globally have also changed with lower elevations experiencing a clear downward trend. Rain increasingly replaces snow, shortening the ski season and causing resorts at lower elevations to lose about a month of skiing over the past 50 years. Compared to 50 years ago, the season starts about 10 days later and ends 20 days earlier as melting begins. This graph shows countries' annual temperature change relative to the 20th century average. It's quite obvious that after 1985, it has gotten warmer every year up until today. The red colour is significantly darker in Switzerland, France, Austria and Italy compared to the global average, meaning that snow is melting faster in these popular ski destinations. Now, you might wonder, what does the future hold for skiing? Will my children or grandchildren ever experience cruising down a perfect groomed slope? The future of ski resorts depends on the trajectory of greenhouse gas emissions in the coming decades. According to the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change IPCC, even with moderate emission reductions, low elevation resorts are projected to have 10 to 40% less winter snow depth by 2050 compared to the early 21st century. However, if emissions continue at high levels, snow loss could reach a staggering 50 to 90% by the end of the century. Every 1 degree Celsius rise in global temperatures is estimated to shorten the ski season by about a month on average, with current trends pointing to a potential 2.4 degree Celsius increase. The consequences for the ski industry are dire. Glaciers, which support skiing on snow atop grassland and serve as important water resources, are also at risk. A high emissions future could result in the disappearance of 95% of Europe's glaciers by 2100 whereas lower emissions might limit the loss to 37%. As our planet continues to warm, the dynamics of skiing destinations will undergo a profound transformation. While the future may appear challenging for skiing, it's not entirely hopeless, even in a scenario marked by high greenhouse gas emissions. Instead, a notable shift in skiing locations will emerge. In the future, most of the ski resorts will most likely be situated at higher elevations, above the 2000 meter mark. These high elevated resorts will continue to offer reliable snow conditions even at the close of the century. While adapting to evolving climate conditions, these high elevation havens will serve as beacons of stability, assuring skiers of a fulfilling and uninterrupted alpine experience. But how exactly are ski resorts adapting to changing climate and working towards a greener future? Ski resorts are not sitting idly by as climate change threatens their existence. Artificial snowmaking has become increasingly widespread, masking the loss of natural snow and sustaining ski tourism. During the 2020-2021 ski season, about half of Swiss ski slopes were covered in artificial snow. However, challenges such as cost, water availability, and the emissions associated with snowmaking remain. It's really just a short-term solution. In an effort to safeguard their precious glaciers, certain towns, such as those nestled in the Swiss Alps, have resorted to a unique method of protection. They have ingeniously placed white blankets over the ice formations, aiming to reflect the sun's energy and stop the melting process. 
This innovative approach not only demonstrates resorts' determination to combat the effects of climate change, but also highlights the delicate balance between preserving our natural wonders and exploring sustainable solutions. Lower-lying resort towns need to pivot their business model and diversify their offerings to attract visitors beyond the traditional ski season. Mountain biking, wellness tourism, and other activities are becoming part of their strategies to adapt to milder winters. The ski industry has shown resilience and adaptability throughout its history, but it's a fact that not all resorts will survive the rising temperatures. Some will be forced to close as skier numbers decline and climate change impacts intensify. Despite the daunting prospects, many ski resorts have set ambitious sustainability goals to reduce their emissions and protect natural resources. Big Sky Resort in Montana aims for net zero emissions by 2030. Implementing measures such as solar arrays, energy efficient buildings and water conservation. Aspen Skiing Company plans to power its operations with 100% renewable electricity by 2030. However, it's not enough that Ski Resorts aims for net zero emissions. The ski industry is not going to be able to save itself. The question on everyone's lips is what will it take to put a stop to the rising temperatures and save our precious snow? The battle against climate change demands collective action on an unprecedented scale. It requires governments, industries, communities, and individuals to unite under a common cause. This means implementing ambitious policies, investing in renewable energy, and reducing greenhouse gas emissions to stop the relentless rise in temperatures. The task ahead is monumental, but experts state that there's still hope. It's within our power to halt the rising temperatures and prevent further snowmelt. Do you think ski resorts will remain in the future? Comment in the section below and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.